Hi Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina, otherwise known as Simple Pluto, and today we are doing your Mercury Retrograde reading. This is going to apply to Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to apply to everyone. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest that doesn't. Use your critical thinking and your discernment while watching this video, and most of all, have a good time, sit back, relax, enjoy yourself okay okay <laughs> um so yeah let's go ahead and get started if you want to book a personal reading with me you can do so at sinfulpluto.com if you want to find me on social media you can do so on twitter and instagram at sinfulpluto okay awesome all right so i'm using the spacious tarot for our reading today um i'll be linking it down below if you're interested in checking it out so let's go ahead and see what's going on for you gemini <clears throat> All right, so what's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this Mercury retrograde? Ooh, okay. All right, so the Seven of Pentacles came out. All right, patience, consistency, working for the long term. We have the King of Swords, the Elder of Swords. We have the Elder of Wands, otherwise known as the King of Wands. We have the Sun Reversed, okay, so Leo Energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Explorer of Wands Reversed. And then under, or at the bottom of the deck is the Fool. And then under that is Justice. All right, so let's see. See, this is a really good spread. I like this spread, Gemini. This is really good. Okay, so overall energy of this Mercury retrograde is the fool. So I feel that by the time that this Mercury retrograde ends, there is some sort of leap of faith that you have to take. There is a new chapter that is closing and another opening in your life which is really exciting sorry there's like a bug on my window i get so distracted um but there's a new chapter opening in your life which is really exciting i feel like you're really being called to enter a new phase of your life however that might resonate with you i feel that there's something that you kind of need to be leaving behind there's an old phase of your life that you need to leave behind old habits um old patterns old behaviors thought processes um, mindsets, whatever this is, right? I feel that it needs to be left behind. And I feel like you have to step away from your comfort zone. I feel that this retrograde is really, is really showing you that you need to like, not let go. You need to walk away from a certain comfort zone of yours or whatever it is. Like, The way that I kind of see it is like a prince. <laughs> um, like in the fool's journey, I'm pretty sure like the fool was like a prince or like some sort of like aristocratic person or whatever the fuck. Someone from a wealthy family. And the, the fool, who was once his prince, decided to leave that way of life, to leave the lavish lifestyle because it wasn't really fulfilling them. Um, the material world wasn't really doing anything. And so they decided to go on an, on an adventure on their own, you know, not really taking much. And they go on into this new adventure. And that's like how the fool's journey begins. And so <clears throat> I kind of like feel that that's basically what you have to do is like leave this sort of like material world or whatever has been very comfortable, what you have known your entire life, whatever this is, right? Um, leaving that comfort zone in going on some sort of new adventure, following a new chapter in your life, um, writing the new chapter within your life, within, within your life, and going on some sort of adventure, taking a leap of faith and trusting that everything is going to be okay, you know, having faith that by taking that step towards the unknown, towards the unfamiliar, that you will be rewarded. Obviously, doing this blindly is not going to be helping you or is not going to work in your favor, but... If you know that you need to be doing something differently, if you know that there is something that you need to step away from and something that you need to step towards, you will be rewarded for doing that, you know? And we have the seven of pentacles, which talks about patience. It talks about consistency, long-term success. And we have 
the king of swords which to me talks about looking at things from a bird's eye view it also talks about strategizing and excuse me and thinking in the long term i feel like for some of you this might be something that you have been planning for a while and by the end of this retrograde things are really coming into fruition and i feel by the end of the retrograde you will know exactly what to do um and you will know how to enact this plan i think by the end of retrograde you have to start enacting on like this plan of taking the leap of faith of opening a new chapter in your life i feel that this retrograde is kind of like an intermission or like a um an interlude i guess you could say but like between chapters like it, it's a it's a buffer phase between the old part of your life you know of, from before this retrograde to the new part of your life which is like obviously after this retrograde that's kind of what this feels like to me <clears throat> and I feel that you have been working towards this new phase of your life for a while, which is awesome and it's beautiful. And if you haven't been thinking about it, I feel that with this buffer phase, it's a really good time to look at things with an objective, unbiased view, um, weighing the pros and cons of things and just really think 10 steps ahead. Because that's what the, the King of Swords is like. Is is The King of Swords is like a really good chess player. You know, he thinks 10 steps ahead before he really makes any sort of moves before, you know, he does anything, right? He is always planning and strategizing to see which way he can win. And I feel like that's, it's just beautiful that this is coming through for you because I really feel that you are being pushed in the direction of not only strategizing, but then by the end of the retrograde, enacting on those strategies and, you know, all that sort of stuff. We have the King of Wands which to me kind of talks about your passion and your charisma. And I think it's really important for you to use that to your advantage um, throughout this entire planning period. And even throughout um, the period of you actually following through with these plans. And I feel that this also talks about you learning how to master your passions, you learning how to master your excitement, the adrenaline, um your desire for stimulation and using it to your advantage and like knowing how to tame the fire and knowing how to use your desire for excitement and all of that to your advantage and like basically being in control of your inner fire of your inner light and that sort of thing which i honestly really love and it's a really great trait to have being like the master of your excitement or being the master of your desires and like your inner fire and your passion and stuff like that because sometimes we end up you know giving too we giving in too much to the fire and it ends up into like this forest fire into this blaze and everything kind of just like burns out in the end right that's why you know gemini's very quickly burn out whenever they have an idea because there was a lack of strategy and they just let their excitement get the best of them and now everything is kind of just like burnt out and you're like oh man i don't i don't know what to do so i feel that with the king of wands this is really saying like you being able to master your impulsivity you being in control of your impulsivity impulsivity and using it in moderation so that it works to your advantage so that it works to your benefit and you get the most bang for your buck and we have the Knight of Wands reverse, which talks about you being a trailblazer. Um, but you need to be mindful of letting your like your compulsions or your impulsivity get the best of you. Because with the Knight of Wands reverse, this to me just talks about like you just like blazing a fire everywhere you go, everywhere you walk, and just like not being all that mindful and aware of like the actions that you take, you know, not having that plan, not having the strategy, that sort of thing. And it doesn't work to your advantage. If anything, it works to your detriment. And it kind of just like burns everything out and you have to kind of start from square one. And that's not what we want. Because what I see is that you have a lot of success coming your way. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Gemini, right? You are very close to accomplishing a lot of your goals. You are very close to reaching the pinnacle of your definition of success. You are at the pinnacle of things. You are almost at the finish line. You were almost at the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new, but we need you to like stay seated. <laughs> 
We need you to not get too excited and let your impulsivity get in the way of that. Do not overestimate yourself, okay? You know how whenever someone can be in a race, whenever someone is like in first place and they like they created a good steady um, pace for themselves, right? And they're first place and things are going very well and it's the last lap and sometimes they begin to overestimate themselves and they try to speed up the process, they try to go faster, they try to go faster, they try to flex and then they end up tripping and they lose that first place prize because they overestimated themselves because they tried to speed up the process because they tried to flex that's not what we want right now if you want to be in first place continue at the steady pace that you were at right now don't try to slow down don't try to speed up go at the pace that you have been going this entire time right consistency seven of pentacles this is consistency all right don't let you know your ego get in the way of things don't let your ego try to flex or whatever right sun reversed because i see i feel as though for some of you your ego could try to get the best of you and you might overestimate yourself and it might be what costs you that first place prize and we don't want that okay we want first place we want to win okay we are at the very end of this journey so let's make the best of it <clears throat> that that finish line isn't going anywhere all right. There's no need to try to speed up, to try to flex, to try to do this or that or whatever. No flips are required to make the win any more fun or fulfilling. OK, just continue doing what you're doing. There doesn't have to be any sort of change. Continue following through with your plans. Don't let your impulsivity, your ego get the best of you because that's where things could go wrong. And we don't want that. OK. Okay, <laughs> that's really what it feels like for me, uh, Gemini. Just keep your impulses in check. If you want like that burst of adrenaline or whatever, do it in some other way. Find another outlet for that so that you can at least get it out of your system. But don't take out those impulsivities on this thing that you are trying to accomplish because I don't, I wouldn't want you to end up risking something really great and then like potentially not make the best of it because of the impulsivity, if that kind of makes sense. So that's really what I have to say, darling. <clears throat> Keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> Retrograde wants you to slow down, so definitely slow down. Um, you will be rewarded as long as you are patient, as long as you were consistent, and as long as you were working for the long term, as long as you were strategizing and looking at things with a bird's eye view, being objective, being unbiased, using your wisdom to your advantage, um, that sort of thing. And keeping your impulsivities in check, your impulses in check. I think that would really help you. So... With that being said, Gemini, I hope this was helpful in some sort of way. I hope I was able to provide some sort of insight for you. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear any sort of feedback that you have. Um, Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends, family, loved ones, or anyone else who needs to hear this message. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at sinfulpluto.com um what else if you if you want to find me on social media you can do so on twitter and instagram at sinful pluto subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification to know when i upload my videos and with that being said i'll talk to you later bye